Nowadays, people get exposed all the time. Today, I'm gonna cover eight Roblox YouTubers who were exposed. Welcome back to Roblox Album. Let's get into the video. Number eight, Jeremy. Jeremy, aka Jeremy, is a Roblox YouTuber with one million subscribers and nearly 300 million views who makes videos about the Roblox game Adopt Me. He was officially exposed by the Adopt Me team in a video together with an article that has been posted on almost all official Adopt Me pages and is backed by the entire Adopt Me team. It's pretty shocking news since Adopt Me is not just another random Roblox game, it's one of the most famous games on the entire platform. It has been created by a legit development team or company that earns millions of dollars from the game, but Jeremy has been banned from the game. The main reason for that was insulting and harassing Adopt Me and its developers, and some players of the game. Throughout the video posted by Adopt Me, there is undeniable proof from Jeremy's videos insulted the game's developers, including the tweets he made saying that Adopt Me sucks these days and is a pay to win game. The Adopt Me team says that they also found solid evidence that Jeremy had bought and sold Adopt Me items from other players using real life money too. Buying and selling game items using real life money is strictly forbidden by both Roblox and Adopt Me, and thus he was banned. By the way, okay, let's go move! Ah, what? You broke my car! What is going on? What just happened? I, I honestly have. Oh my Number seven, Dennis. Yes, we are talking about the Dennis. The one who has 8.2 million subs. Although it's not too much of a mistake or a big deal like Jeremy, one has to think this would never have expected from one of the top Roblox YouTubers. Dennis has been exposed by many players and YouTubers for copying thumbnails and video titles. He even copied whole ideas from some existing Roblox videos too. An example includes him copying 50 Ways of Dying in Roblox by JBug RBLX to make his video Ways to Die in Roblox. Now here he didn't just copy the idea from JBug, but he literally used the same thumbnail as well. Who would have expected such lack of originality from the top YouTuber? Help! My cat and my crab disappeared. Can you help me find them? Nah, I'm busy. Well, <laughs> you're a mean person, you know. Who is this? Number six, Sub. Sub, who is also a part of the famous group Pals, like Dennis, also got exposed. I bet all of you who subscribe to Sub know how much he does this. But for those of us who aren't subscribed, Sub posts a lot of videos that imply that he will have his face reveal in them from their titles, but he didn't actually show his face in any of the videos. All of them were just click basement to get him more views. It's kind of petty for a YouTuber of his caliber to do this every now and then, but hey, everyone has their own style of pranking others, I guess. I mean, you even added proper hiding spots to Jerry in the form of refrigerators by the spawn. You can swing the door open and squeeze right in. Number five, Inquisitor Master. Inquisitor Master creates videos where she dates people on Roblox. Having 6.21 million subscribers and making videos where you date will obviously inspire some viewers to go on Roblox and do the same. Not all of her videos are online dating, but we are talking about those that do contain the content. It's also been exposed that almost all of her videos are role-playing, and the role players in the videos are her own fans. So basically, she's online dating her fans in the videos. The people who exposed her with screenshots were none other than her own Exa Squad members. Lives that always make sure that they have a blast in every one of their YouTube videos and interact with their fans as much as they can. Not only this, but their Inquisitor Master Squad friends have said how much both of them love Number 4, Sketch. Yet another member of PALS got exposed. Sketch having 3.18 million subscribers did not let his past outshine him. Sketch simply reacts to videos made by other YouTubers and thus steals their content. The whole video is someone else's content and he steals them by just adding a small face of himself in the corner reacting to the content. Number 3, Poke. Poke, who's also a famous Roblox YouTuber, is known for giving away Robux to strangers, but what we did not know was that these strangers were his fans, which is against Roblox's terms of use rules. The rules clearly state that you can't sell, trade, or give away Robux other than official channels. Unofficial channels include chats, Roblox groups, or third-party apps or websites. Number 2, Tofu. Tofu was actually the person who started the John Doe theory which blew up later on. The video still exists on his channel as the first Roblox account ever. Since then, many people have made videos on the hilarious topic, and it's satisfying to know the mastermind who started it all. Number 1, Berixia. Even though Berixia is not as popular as others on this list, she did have the audacity to do things that even popular YouTubers wouldn't. Maybe this is why she doesn't have many subscribers. To begin with, Berixia screams her fans, and what's worse is that she's not ashamed of accepting the claims on her YouTube video comments, and she laughs about them in the comments reply too. Other than that, she's also very rude to her fans. She called some fans rat, 
While another time she said, my fans are literally pigs, I can't stand them, on a reply to a comment on her YouTube video. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.